and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to review the Mocha coffee maker, which is an Italian classic. If you've been to Italy and you have tried their coffee culture, you know that they are crazy about coffee. Um, people will be drinking multiple cups of espresso shots a day and they'll just walk into the shop, order their espresso and drink it there at the bar. Today I want to try for the first time the mocha coffee maker. I have really high expectations because I loved all the coffee I had in Italy and I can't wait to try it. So let's make some coffee. So this mocha express has a capacity of three cups and it uses about 150 milliliters of water and it produces about 130 milliliters of coffee. The box looks really simple. It has three separate pieces that are already assembled and it comes with a user manual, which you can read and find out how to use it. They also recommend you to make sure that you wash your machine, all the components, and use at least three times um, the machine with just with water before you make any coffee. A mocha pot has three parts. So the bottom part is where you will store the liquid, the water, to make the coffee. The middle is a mesh filter for your coffee beans. And the top section is where your coffee will be brewed. To start, add 140 milliliters of cold water in the bottom section. You can use any type of finely ground beans. But I went with the original Bialetti Perfecto Mocha Intensity number no. 7 because this is my first time trying this machine. Just a tip here, make sure you fill up the coffee beans up until the top, because if you put less coffee beans, then your coffee will be less intense and more watery. Screw the top section really tightly and then place it on a medium heat for about four minutes. You will know the coffee is ready once it starts overflowing in from the funnel and make sure you keep an eye on it because I've missed it and my coffee almost burned. If I have to be honest, I find this part a little bit tricky and it's one of the main cons of using this mocha pot because when I want to make my morning coffee, I need to really sit and watch it closely instead of doing my breakfast or something else. So um, make sure you don't burn your coffee. <laughs> So based on my first impression, the taste of the coffee is quite smooth, it's really smooth and balanced, but it's not as intense as if I were making an espresso or an espresso. So for that reason, I think I still need to explore more recipes with these coffee makers. Let me know if you have tried it and if there's anything you would like to recommend. So this is my review of the Mocha Coffee Maker, um, see you in my next video, bye!